Hi everyone, my name is Carmen. I am 21 years old and I am from Paraguay. So, but currently I am living here in Taiwan. That's why you might see this t-shirt that says Taiwan with the dragon on it. So, well, um, today I will talk about Paraguay and about my culture and how people in Paraguay are. So I hope that you enjoy this video. This video was made because your teacher, Kim, asked me to. Hi, Kim! So well, I hope that you guys really like and that you will visit Paraguay very soon. Well, so, so you're wondering now, where is Paraguay? Well, Paraguay is located in South America. It border, it's bordered by Bolivia, Brazil, and Argentina. And it's referred as the heart of America because we have the shape of a heart. Well, we have two official languages, Spanish and Guarani. Most, more of 50% of the population speaks Guarani and all, almost all the population mix Guarani with Spanish. That's, that is one of our main characteristics. That's what makes us um, different from other countries in South America. Because when we are outside our country and everybody speaks Spanish, we and when we don't want anybody to understand us, we start speaking in Guarani. It's pretty cool, actually. Well, uh, about our religion, we are mainly Catholic people. About 89, 80 and 89 percent of the population is Catholic, and we have a population of about six million people. Yeah, we're a small country. Uh, our president, right now our president is Federico Franco. More interesting facts about Paraguay, we uh, became independent from Spain in 1811. So last year it was our 200th anniversary. For that, uh, we made a special celebration. Uh, for example, many artists from and other parts of the world came and made concerts. And also here in Taiwan, we made a celebration. The Embassy of Paraguay hosted and made all Paraguayans united, even though that I am not right now in Paraguay. Well, we are really fun and loving people. And for that, we are also well known about our music. All around South America, we have our own special dances. And ours is called Polka. Polka, it was created when we were part of Spain. So it's really typical. And if you see, um, our dances might be similar to other countries around Latin America. We have uh, special suits and they are all look kind of similar. But the dances and the dance uh, moves are different. Here I'm going to show you a, par and a little video about Paraguayan dance. Debajo de la enramada ya está formada la rueda y sale las galoperas, la galopa a bailar. Luciendo el que guaderá, zarcillos de tres pendientes, anillos y de ramales y el rosario de coral. Galopera.
So as you saw, the music is pretty loud and pretty joyful and the dance moves as well. Well, apart from this dance, we also have something pretty special that is called Guarania and it's what, this was created in 1925 by a really famous musician called Jose Asuncion Flores. This is kind of a romantic uh, type of music, but it's really typically Paraguayan. Apart from this, we also have the guitar and the harp. We have our special harp called Paraguayan harp, and this gives Paraguayan music really a special sound. As I told you before, we, we are a bilingual country. We speak two languages, Guarani and Spanish. And why I make really emphasis on this, because this is one of our main characteristics that make us um, special from other countries in Latin America. We have a bilingual education system. What I mean about this, it's like we since first grade we have to attend to Spanish taught courses as well to Guarani taught courses. And also to work in the government, we have to speak both languages. So as you see, we are really proud about our um, Aboriginal origins and we don't want our language to get lost. That's why the government and the education system is making a pretty good effort to not to this language not to be extent. Another fun fact is that we are so identified by this Warani culture that outside our country we are called by other people Warani. We have a football team that is called Warani and also our our national and coins and paper money it's called Guarani. So apart from this Paraguayan fever, we also have another customs like Terere. What is Terere? It's also called cold yerba mate. Terere for us, it's a cold drink that it's, it's kind of a cold tea that we drink and to make us feel a kind of refresh from the hot summer. You know that in Paraguay, uh, temperature can get until like I'm gonna sell in Celsius like around 40 degrees so to get over this hot we have to drink this terere it makes us feel way much better and also this yerba mate it says that it had medicinal purposes it was discovered by the Jesuits and it was kind of one of the main trade between um, Paraguay and Spain. They were exporting to Spain. Para and Terere is also famous because it's a custom to make friends. Why do I say this? Because and we get into rounds. How we drink today, we are we gather together and we make a huge round. So everybody drinks terere and all together and they share. Also, it's a good way to get to know people. That's why terere is pretty popular in Paraguay because that's kind of the way that you make friends. Now it comes my favorite part: food. We Paraguayans love to eat barbecue. Actually, Paraguayan meat is as good as Argentinian meat. Have you ever heard that? Oh my God, Argentinian beef. Well, Paraguay, it's even better. We eat every Sunday barbecue. And meat also is really, really cheap. We, our, one of our main exports to the world is our meat. So besides that, we also have these typical dishes, for example, chipa wasu. That is kind of a egg and corn tart. It's made out of corn, egg, cheese, onions. 
and it's all put in the oven and it's baked. There's also something called sopa paraguaya, Paraguayan soup. It's not a liquid soup. It's a... Uh, It's something baked that is not drinkable. You have to eat it. And it's also really good. Apart from these two, we also have Bori Bori, Pastel Mandio. And when is the perfect time to eat this? It's in the traditional holidays. As I told you, we are a Catholic, mainly Catholic country. Our holidays are also based in the in Catholic customs. For example, and we have Christmas, we have uh, Eastern, as well a huge holiday is our Virgin's Day, that is Virgen de Cacupe, that is the 8th of December. In all of these holidays, we eat Paraguay Paraguayan food and also in Eastern when we are not supposed to eat meat we eat something called chipa that is made out of cheese it's the most delicious thing I ever taste and if you go to Paraguay and come visit me you, there, that is something that you must eat it's really famous but we have a big heart so we will always welcome you and if you come you always have my